I just keep um I just keep thinking. I have this line of thought rolling through my head. So far as like bucket lists go, things we want to do, things we'd rather do, things I want to learn. It's like what I want to do and what I have to do. What I have to do, I kind of want to do. <laughs> But there's a lot more things that I don't have to do that I'd rather do. I really want to learn how to tap dance. And gymnastics. Um, karate. <laughs> I want to learn more about foraging and like survival foraging meditate meditation fasting but like we're at war the war of peace is a long war It has never, the War of Peace has never been won. It has always only been battles along the way. But anyway, what made me say, want to say that is like, like I love music. I'd, I'd love to spend a lot more time on music, you know. And we can't help but be influenced. And also, as we're first influenced we can't help but be sloppy young naive do things wrong but I guess one of my missions is the promotion of play and failure at, at playing yeah. I'm so embarrassed but like um, you know sometimes I hear beats in my mind I, I want to learn how to play the drums you know I don't think it's ever going to happen never mind the what do they call it? Marim marimbas xylophones that's what's kind of cool about the piano is it's so percussive it also seems really awesome to be able to use both your hands and both your feet to play an instrument and leave your mouth clear never mind the organ never mind the hurdy-gurdy <laughs> But, yeah, Bobby McFerrin, you know. It's like, if you could do that, like, Jack, Jack Black talks about, I'm not trying to be the number two Bobby McFerrin fan, I'm just saying. Jack Black is the number one Bobby McFerrin fan, and he has it right, you know. And I'm trying to get to the point viscerally, philosophically, that it's just okay to make beep, 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 like, even if you suck at it, that's still really cool. <laughs> like, what a great world it would be if people just was like, bah, 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 bah. and the dude next to him was like, awesome. Test that out. Get it back to the baby. My understanding is that babies ping. Babies ping every sound. They're playing this uh, cosmic, linguistic game of Marco Polo, and they're just they're just sending out radar, and they respond to what they receive. So, any baby 
if a baby lived in a household with ten languages and ten elders, they'd grow up very quickly, you know, by three, four, five. They're speaking ten languages. They have the capacity. So once we've created that concrete of language in our mind, the only way to open up that gate and not just learn like one other language from like one specific direction, but like really open it up, it seems, would be in, uh, well I shouldn't say the only way, another way or a helpful way maybe. The jackhammer of play. Brrrr. Crack up all those neurons. Get shit flowing again. But yeah, so I was. Uh, I always think of songs and beats in my mind. I'm very bad with technology and like making songs, and I'm not a very good musician. You know? But it seems as though play would be helpful. So now I'm trying to remember. What was it? Because I just wanted to be like... <laughs> it's pretty much all I wanted to do with this video. But now I've been talking. So I've summoned a different cadence. And now i got to get back to what I was thinking about. I know, it's nothing. I know, it's silly, but why not, right? It's not my thing. It's not, you know, but I hear things, I can't help. If I just sat down and watched commercials, didn't even watch any music videos or any if I just watched commercials if I just watched like intro promos to programs I wouldn't need anything else there's enough like music diversity just in like regular everyday commercial shit and what if I can do more with this and this it's still a means of expression And I'm embarrassed about it. So, I just want to recognize that, but also I want to, like, play and make mistakes and sound silly anyway. As an experiment. Maybe it'll help. I'm really, I mean, I'm really sick and tired of my inner tyrant that corresponds to the outer tyrants I'm familiar with. The outer tyrant says people or personalities that I know, but I'm also s sick and tired of uh, judging them and putting them in a box. I'm tired. My inner tyrant is, a, in a sense, a, a, a collective carbon copy of all the tyrants outside of me that I know, whether fictitious or historic or personal. It's just this composite, and that's my inner tyrant. And I'm tired of it. And I'm also tired of making them the tyrants, even though they are, they, they fit that character, but I'm, I'm tired of, of labeling someone who has interacted with, with me in a certain way. I'm tired of labeling them as a tyrant. And I'm so sad that I've been that tyrant. I mean, I, So that's heavy. And wouldn't it be wonderful if we could forgive ourselves and each other enough where we could just be like, dirt, 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 dirt. <laughs> yes, it would be. Unfortunately, in the past for me, maybe it's just a product of my age or having got my fucking head and dick pounded in the fucking dirt for long enough 
by the powers that be, good and bad, that I've gained some perspective. But yeah, just to kind of, you know, play again. To try to make something cool, but when it falls flat, <laughs> shrug it off and say, hey man, good job for trying. That's awesome. That's good. Because I do okay sometimes, and I don't mind making mistakes when I do my But the only reason I'm comfortable with making mistakes doing that now is because I keep doing it. It was horrifying when I first started. It would like, my, my temperature would raise and so on. I'd get all flustered, you know. A lot of the videos I made in the past doing that, I, I was really flustered. In fact, even like two years ago, I couldn't even make that sound when I wasn't driving in my car. So that's a major progress. But I also like percussion. So maybe now is the time to make some silly percussion and maybe someday I can make some good per percussion. Because I want to be a musician at heart. There's more knowledge built into this thing than like the study. The study's super important. I mean, I ain't no fucking Bach. But I can be being as though I'm nothing, and I don't try. Trying could make me ten times better. That's a lot. And if we were all ten times better, and it was super easy, and the biggest fix to the whole situation was be free to fuck up. Have a laugh, but not just a laugh, like you fuck up in front of yourself, in front of other people. That's a major accomplishment. And it's a major accomplishment when your friend says, good fucking job, even when you did a shitty job, because you gave it a shot and you found out it wasn't no big deal. That's awesome. I ain't there. <laughs> but I understand enough of that so I'm just going to try to do... I was thinking percussion earlier. I've lost it. But I like percussion. And I can't do it. And maybe if I, if I allow myself to embarrass myself potentially in front of others, because this will be on the internet, I might be the only person who ever watches it, but by exposing myself to that embarrassment might make it easier for me just even in my own spare time when I'm because I get embarrassed when I'm by myself not recording so to record it's like a commitment fuck it and I'm assuming that's part of the reason I mean I just I can't kick the habit of drinking right now I can't do it I've only kicked a couple things more or less permanently, you know. Uh, I was never big into coke, but like, don't do. I. It came to a point where I was like, eh, I ain't doing that shit. As far as tripping and all that, I, yeah, tripping, yeah, it's just, it's not happening. Maybe 10, 20 years from now, but uh, not now. But 
I'm always trying to make myself, I think, feel less uncomfortable and less embarrassed. And I also think I, I drink so that I can let myself feel like chill, just relax and play. And uh, maybe if I push myself a little bit to play a little more when I've had a few beers. Um, like if I've had a few beers and I'm still embarrassed to be like, put, put a pat, put, put a pat, like if I can't even do that after a few beers and just chill the fuck out about it, even when no one's watching, if I can't even do that, But it's hard to dethrone Pavlov. It's hard to unbuild Pavlov's dog. And I'm not just talking about the hole in the cheek. Once you salivate to a bell, and we all salivate to bells, once, once you salivate to a bell, unbuilding that bridge is harder than building it by degrees of magnitude. A bridge in the real world that's been built is easier to destroy than it is to build. A bridge in the mental world is much more difficult to destroy. I know I've done this before and I'm drunk, but, you know, maybe if I do it enough times drunk, then I won't feel embarrassed doing it when I'm, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm alone, by myself. And maybe I'll get a little better, because percussion has to do with counting. And it's kind of like if you walk outside, like, in languages of other animals, and we think they're so stupid. Like the exact pitch of a chipmunk's 
squeak. It was only in the last couple years when I heard chipmunks, I thought it was a bird. It was only in the last couple years when I realized, like, no, that squeak's a fucking chipmunk. It only very recently was like, I can tell a chipmunk squeak. I can tell when a, when a chipmunk makes a sound versus a red squirrel versus a gray squirrel versus a bird, like, I can tell the difference now. Not because I did a lot of study, it's just they're around and I became more interested. But like, how many times a bird chirps? The exact pitch, the repetitions of sound. There was one bird I kept meeting here in my driveway for like a week. Every night there'd be this one bird singing this. It was like three separate little short haiku songs. They were almost like these little haiku songs. It was like a few notes, a few notes, and a few notes. And it was this exact progression. I can't remember it exactly now, but it was something like... Nah, not that. How'd it go? Boop, boop, boop. Dee, doo. Boop, boop, boop. Dee, doo. Doo, dee, doo. Dee, doo. Doo, 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 doo. I can't remember, but it was, it was these. It was like little verses. Same thing every day. Cows are cows are born walking. Right? Apes born. I heard this on a video the other day, so I'm stealing it. <laughs> Apes born clinging being able to grasp to their mother. So to think that they're not being linguistic is stupid. And to think that within the animal kingdom and even within subsets of species that there aren't very subtle variations geneolo genealogical variations within you know more or less micro populations like it's silly and to think that everything in the animal kingdom is instinct and genetics is ridiculous Animals are taught. The domestication of wild animals should be all the proof that you need. The proper domestication. Another topic. Another topic for another time. Um, but yeah... The interest in percussion isn't just for like cool beats and all that, but cool beats are cool too. And if they can be like happy and like good vibes and positive, but also kick ass and fucking get in there, like even better. You know? I want some of that. You know? There's already a lot of that out there. So a lot of my work should, in that respect, should just be to appreciate it. But at the same time, because I think it's cool. I should allow myself enough to suck at it. Because even though... You know, a lot of reason why old people are lame... Is because when they're midlife, like me... And realize, like, I'm pretty fucking lame. I'm, I'm in my... I'm in, you know, I'm in my midlife. I realize, like, I'm pretty fucking lame. I didn't end up as cool as I thought I was going to be. <laughs> well, that's the story. For a lot of people, not everybody. Some people do end up that cool. But the whole idea of St. Thomas... Second chances, man. Third, fourth, last chances, lost causes, lost to be found. Not lost, motherfucker, lost to be found. 
you could be that artifact. Because you could be cool as shit when you're 60, 70 years old. <laughs> if you get into it when you're 40, why the fuck not? If someone who can go from 0 to 20, be 20 and be cool as motherfucking shit, why not? Now, I ain't saying I'm gonna do it, but... But it would just be a lot cooler. Because... If some five-year-old playing the piano learned Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and did some like slight variation on it, just intuitively, it'd be like, wow. But if you're 50 and you do it, it's like, really? But that's the wrong attitude. We should be like, awesome. If a 50-year-old has never done played a musical instrument and they do a shitty rendition of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Every fucking person on the planet should be like, good for you, man. You did it. It just seems like a much more beautiful world. And I gotta find a way for this... <laughs> grungy... <laughs> cruddy old painter to help contribute to that. So, I guess this is just a little shadowy prayer. In that direction. Having that said, I gotta at least try to do some percussion even though I'm totally off from the whole thing now. I get inspired, I get, when I'm not blabbing my mouth, I get inspired by like a new thing every three seconds. Just like, dick. <laughs> that's interesting, that's interesting, that's interesting, that's interesting, that's interesting, that's interesting. So I'll do that for a few hours, and then after my brain burns out for an hour, I'll sit there and be like, I'm bored, 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 I'm bored. And then I'm back to, that's interesting, that's interesting. If you made it this far. You know what I mean. <laughs> but maybe, yeah, maybe I'll just remember this later. Maybe it's something I can build on. One stone, you know, one stone on top of the next. But a bum 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 Sometimes I like Sometimes I like the percussion It's just like I don't know how to voice it Doesn't sound very good But maybe if I work on it Maybe not <laughs> I didn't get where I thought I was going to, but hopefully I've, I've sufficiently humiliated myself enough in the spirit of fun, even though I went a little too far, uh, I made a little bit of a fool of myself, like, I hope that's okay. Please forgive me for trying to be cool. It's not just that, like, when you don't know how to dance, it's hard to get the dance out. you don't know how to dance, it's hard to get the dance. And we need to be much more forgiving and accepting and loving of the ways in which we want and need to get the good.
extent. I'm glad for this opportunity to remind myself of that because that's not the way I live my life. I'm not saying this because it's the way I live my life. I'm saying it because it's not the way I live my life. But I recognize its beauty. I hope you're having a good day. If you're not, reach out. And if you can't reach out, reach in. And if you can't reach in, reach out. And, uh, thanks for your love. Thanks for your love. It's hard to say it and mean it, even though I mean it. Thanks for your love. I hope someday to repay it in kind. Thank you.